they'll get whatever punishment's coming and hopefully put that behind them at the age 18 and be able to move on. Breaking in Baldwin County, three arrests have been made in the vandalism of five high schools there. Yeah, police say the remaining two suspects are supposed to turn themselves in tomorrow. Fox News showing you surveillance video of the break ins just yesterday. And after that, investigators say they got calls from lawyers representing the teens. Our Fox 10 News Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherrick also found out that one school's stolen statue of their iconic mascot is among the stuff that's been recovered. It's just the result authorities hoped for. When this surveillance video from inside Fairhope High School aired yesterday, investigators say it started a chain reaction, which led to three juveniles turning themselves into police today. We got tips from uh, people that knew these children, and also we, we had their parents call, or we had attorneys call, call on their behalf. So. Police say the five suspects are all under the age of 18 and go to the same school. Of course, the big question many have is what school they attend. Investigators are not releasing that information, only saying it was not one of the schools targeted. Police say there's not a clear answer as to why they did it. From what we know so far, they're not really a valid reason. I think one one of the young people said it was a, a rivalry between schools, but you know, really there's so many schools involved and there's not really a rivalry there. So we don't really have a reason for it yet. Bayside Academy, Gulf Shores, Foley, Fairhope, and Daphne High Schools were all targeted. Police say the suspects painted, damaged, and took property from the schools over a period of several days. Items stolen from four different schools has been turned in, most notably the bronze Fairhope Pirate statue taken from the lobby of the high school. Investigators say they ultimately hope to recover everything taken and that those involved will learn from this. As a juvenile, you know, you do have that opportunity to change your life. Uh, the juvenile court is one of those tools that's, that's used to do that. You know, they'll. They'll get whatever punishment's coming and hopefully put that behind them at the age of 18 and be able to move on. Charges on each of these folks will vary depending upon their involvement in the crimes. And uh, those could uh, range from criminal mischief to burglary, depending. Reporting live in Daphne, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.